Hi, my name is Fran and in this video I'm going to tell you exactly what is the best email marketing software for affiliate marketing and why using some of them might be getting you at risk of getting your account closed and even losing your email list. Alright, so I've looked into the most attractive email marketing softwares people are using nowadays and I looked into their terms of service and why the, some of them are dangerous to be using in affiliate marketing. I'm also going to tell you later in this video how you can kind of work around this and still do affiliate marketing with some of these platforms. If you're careful enough, you shouldn't have problems. Some people have reported to be using these softwares for a long, long time for affiliate marketing without having any problems. So let's jump into it. Let's see what you can do. <clears throat> All right, so MailChimp is the first one that comes to mind. They offer uh, up to, I think, 2,000 subscribers for free and a, a bunch of emails uh, sending for free as well. So it is very attractive to start using MailChimp, but MailChimp is the first platform that is a big no-no for affiliate marketing. Uh, let's see why. So I went into their terms of service and most people already know that MailChimp do not allow affiliate marketing. So they have here very specifically a prohibited content and within prohibited content they explain they they mention affiliate marketing just specifically like this mailchimp personally i've used mailchimp before i even started affiliate marketing with my first blog and my my experience with them was not very good not just because of affiliate marketing because at the time i wasn't doing any affiliate marketing through email especially but uh, i didn't like their platform i i was attracted by the free the free plan but well, eventually I decided to move away from MailChimp and it was a big hassle to to transfer all my lists, all my autoresponders, what had been created in my campaigns. If you can find the right email software the first time, then this is a big time saver. I've moved, uh, I think, four times and I wish I didn't have to, to go through that process. So let's see, MailChimp, not for affiliate marketing. Uh, at the end of this video, I'm still going to talk about how you can still use not just MailChimp, but in most of these platforms for affiliate marketing, depending on the kind of affiliate marketing you're doing. There's different kinds of affiliate marketing and we'll see how you can work around this. So, all right. So next we have MailerLite. MailerLite has a, has a clause in their terms called appropriate content. And they, they specifically say you cannot send uh, affiliate marketing emails so they, let's let's read what they say here we allow sending only relevant inf information which is requested by subscribers and corresponds to the anti and to the can spam act obviously meaning that you cannot email people that did not subscribe to your list you can't send pornography affiliate marketing pyramid schemes mlm get rich quick forex escort services gambling blah 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 these most of them don't allow, don't allow for all these things but in in miller light case you cannot, uh, in MailerLite's case, you cannot send uh, affiliate marketing promotions. Now, again, like just like MailChimp, there is a way around it. And uh, some people have contacted them directly and they have explained what they mean with you cannot send affiliate marketing. Now, let's jump into the next one. So if you want to be safe, 100% safe, MailerLite is also out of the question. Another attractive one because it starts with a free plan. There is still one email marketing software you can use with a free plan nowadays that does not say anything about affiliate marketing. So it should be absolutely legal to do affiliate marketing and you should not be at risk. Now we have ConvertKit. ConvertKit is also a very attractive platform to use. I used ConvertKit uh, back in the day. The reason I moved away from ConvertKit was they did not allow me to have two separate lists in the same account. So I had, I was running two websites, two blogs, and they were completely different niches and I could not manage two uh, different ones in the same account. I don't know if this has changed recently, but again, they also prohibit uh, affiliate content type. Let's, let's see what they mean with this. So they have here under the section of prohibited content, they have CPA, affiliate type sites or similar affiliate type sites, network marketing sites, affiliate education offers, insurance sales or promotions. Personally, I'd stay away from ConvertKit if, I, if you intend to do affiliate marketing. 
it is not very specific what you can or cannot uh, send again i will tell you a little bit about how you can still send some uh, how you could still use it for affiliate marketing but i wouldn't do it not just because of this reason but there's another reason i wouldn't use convertkit for affiliate marketing for affiliate marketing it's very important that you are able to segment your lists and and, ma and manage them with workflows automations like conditioned automations that you can say okay this person opened this email do this and when i used convertkit this option was very restricted convertkit is perfect for bloggers who just want to email their their subscribers and say listen i got new content for bloggers convertkit is really good if you want to do specifically affiliate marketing don't go with convertkit convertkit was created by a blogger and it's specifically for content creators if that's all you do if you create content and you just want to email your subscribers with new content with convertkit is good for you for affiliate marketing i wouldn't recommend convertkit let's go to the next one active campaign active campaign has been very trendy late, lately and it is a great email marketing software it it grew a lot recently and they have uh, they have been very strong in the um, in the enterprise sector so big companies are jumping into active campaign meaning that they they go a bit they let go a little bit of the small email marketer so let's see what they say about prohibited content or content you can send in this case they say your email content your email content you send types of content we do not allow they do not say anything about uh, affiliate marketing they do reference work at home pyramids they also mention get rich quick schemes now if you're doing affiliate marketing you shouldn't be trying to make it look like a get rich quick scheme obviously affiliate marketing is not a get rich quick scheme but like i mentioned before there's different kinds of affiliate marketing and people do affiliate marketing in different ways some people go a bit overboard with affiliate marketing and if you do that with active campaign then you'll probably get your account closed there are a lot of people have had their have uh, had their accounts banned in active campaign but there is also there are also very successful affiliates using active campaign who love it and they they swear it's the best uh, email marketing software they've ever seen now with this being said let's jump to the next email marketing software and again uh, there's also a way to be using active campaign that i will be with affiliate marketing that i'll be talking about later on next we have aweber now aweber does not mention anything about affiliate marketing i've looked through their terms all of them and i cannot find anything that that would prohibit you from sending affiliate offers affiliate marketing or doing any kind of uh, affiliate marketing emailing so aweber should be okay and there is uh, there is also for those of you who are just starting affiliate marketing maybe aweber is the right email software to use because aweber has a free plan now personally i do not i use aweber just for certain purposes i have one of my email lists uh, from a small blog i have in it with aweber because i wanted to try it since now they implemented this new free plan they have a free plan um, i have a video talking about the free plan they have uh, you can find a card somewhere above this video that will be um, that talks about aweber's free plan and um, reviews it uh, a bit in depth uh, my first view of my first uh, usage of aweber's free plan so you can uh, have a look at it you might uh, find it interesting for you personally i would not I, I still wouldn't make aweber my my email sending platform i i did enjoy using aweber i am enjoying using aweber it's it's quite straightforward it has a few a few things you should be aware about once you import a list to into aweber they have a review process that for me took almost two days that they will look over your um, your, your list to see if it's completely legal if it's if it was acquired properly um, so keep that in mind so Aweber's free plan is the most limited I've seen. I also do a comparison with the other free, uh, free plans in other platforms such as MailChimp, MailerLite and ConvertKit. 
in my other video so just have a look at it and uh, uh, check for yourself if you're okay with it uh, for me uh, 500 contacts and the amount of emails they allow you to send for per, per month not the 500 contacts per se but the, the amount of limited emails they allow you to send per month is not enough especially to do affiliate marketing and this is the reason I I wouldn't start affiliate marketing with Aweber because it's a very limited amount of emails you can send per month. Now, what I use and what I recommend you start if you're starting affiliate marketing to use is GetResponse. GetResponse, just like Aweber, I could not find anything related to affiliate marketing, work at home or any, anything like, that, like this. So this is what GetResponse does not allow the use of and uh, they only talk about th they talk about a lot of things but they don't talk about affiliate marketing they don't talk about any work at home uh, kind of emailing or anything like this so get response has been uh, one of the has been my favorite email pot email marketing software so far i've used get response i believe for over two years and uh, i have no reason to change i would probably try using uh, if for for other purposes not affiliate marketing active campaign uh, i am using aweber as i told you but for affiliate marketing specifically i i will always continue using get response get response is everything i need their automations are amazing and the software is perfect for me there it's easy to use it was uh, one of the easiest to start with um, and and they have no limitations uh, for affiliate marketing usage i have never heard of somebody having their account closed because of doing affiliate marketing with get response now obviously there are still limitations there are still things you need to keep in mind when you're doing affiliate mar uh, affiliate marketing emailing with affiliate marketing because emailing is very sensitive nowadays you need to have gdpr compliance in 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 mind you need to have can spam act there are a lot of things you need to understand in email marketing so if you don't understand email marketing and its limitations just understand that you need to respect the people's privacy if they do not want to be emailed by you you should not be emailing them so make sure you get their permission their consent now i told you there is a way to do affiliate marketing with these other platforms because there are different ways of doing affiliate marketing and what i've understood and please understand this is my opinion this is not uh this is not uh, legal advice but what i understand from all of these and my experience and by seeing other affiliates is that they consider affiliate marketing the hardcore promotion of affiliate offers what people do with clickbank that they they basically they just email their lists to um to offer them uh, affiliate offers nothing else now i do send some affiliate offers even from clickbank from time to time i, I am very careful to i only recommend what i what i use what i love as you can see my website you can see my videos um my recommendation for affiliate marketing usage is get response so this is uh, what i recommend for you to to use to to use for email marketing with uh, affiliate marketing this is what i use personally and it's my favorite now if you're affiliate marketing if you're doing a light affiliate marketing if you're emailing content valuable content to your list and every once in a while you send them the promotion of something you shouldn't have a problem with most plat platforms now what i do recommend if you want to use one of these platforms is that you always use content uh, in the middle of an offer now you can still send an affiliate link and i don't think you will be banned um i would still stay away from mailchimp because i've heard cases of people getting banned for using affiliate links but uh specifically with mailer people have asked them and mailer have said specifically that you can use affiliate links what you cannot do is only send affiliate promotions so be aware of that if you're interested in mailer if you're interested in convert kit i would be careful with with this and to be safe personally i would only use um, either aweber or get response 
So for the reasons I've explained, GetResponse is my favorite email marketing software for affiliate marketing and for most other purposes. I do love GetResponse. I do not use all their features. Uh, I've, um, I have, I have a complete tutorial on GetResponse, which you can find somewhere around here as well. What I want to talk to you about as well is why isn't affiliate marketing allowed in most of these platforms? And you should have this into consideration as well. Email marketing softwares need to keep their, their reputation safe so their, their emails don't land in spam. One of the most important things for an email marketing platform is, is their deliverability. That's what people look for in an email marketing software. They need, if, you have, if you're sending emails, you want your emails to get to the inbox. You want their emails to be delivered. This is one of the ways that the, these platforms improve their de deliverability by, by filtering affiliate marketing promoters as these are very often um, considered as spam if that's all they do. Keep in mind, we are talking about here hardcore promoters. There are people who email their list every day with a promotion, with an affiliate link to some product, which they don't even know most of the times. Um, you will find this, uh, this practice a lot, a lot within uh, solo ad vendor vendors and stuff like this. For more videos like this, for to learn how to monetize your content or for tutorials um, about these platforms please make sure to subscribe to this channel check out the channel and you'll find plenty of uh, available videos already that you might find interesting uh, if, if this video helped you give a thumbs up please and leave a comment if you want me to talk about anything specific or demonstrate anything specific about uh, affiliate marketing and monetizing your content for now, thank you for watching this video and see you on the next one.